Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Saturday, coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Prism Basketball 2 box random team break number 10. Now for random team breaks, no vet common ship, so just keep that in mind, except for on my list, LeBron, we've got a whiteboard right here, LeBron, Giannis, Zion, Luca, and Ja, those vet commons will ship, obviously inserts and stuff will ship as well. Big thanks to this group of people right here for making this happen, we really appreciate it. Let's double you up like Sir Mix a lot, uh, double up, uh, uh. all teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list three and a four seven times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then final time. After seven, we got Marlon down to Reese. Oh, Ohms, I, Omar, I missed your question, man. Um, we don't sell cards for customers. Not yet. Three and a four seven times. That's on a back. That's an idea that's on the back burner. We may do that. Maybe. I don't know, later on down the line, years later maybe. And seven the final time. So for now, we've got calves down to heat. For now, you know, if we pull like a monster hit like we did, like that LeBron James one of one, then we would refer them to our friends over at Leland's Auctions if they want to use that option. So we can kind of help sell monster cards for people. Marlon with the calves, Brian with the Hornets. There you go, Brian. Reese with the Grizz and John with the Timberwolves. They're the two big teams around top. Brian with the Mavs, John with the Wizards, Sean with the Rockets, Billy with the Bulls. Bulls are solid too. Zach, you got my Lakers. Those LeBron cards are selling well. Reese with the Jazz, James with the Kings, Halliburton's. Zach with the Celtics, Michael with the Raptors, Marlon with the Bucks. Get those Giannis's. Seth with the Hawks, Reese with the Spurs, Michael with the Nets, Sean with the Pelicans. Second year, Zion's, Hyunmin with the Sixers, Daniel with the Suns and Trailblazers, James with the Magic, Warriors, Weissman's. For Daniel, Hyun Min with the Pacers, Daniel with the Nuggets, Billy with the Thunder, Seth with the Knicks, Quickly's, Obi Toppins, Clippers, Pistons, and Miami Heat for Reese. Some solid rookies among those teams as well. Let's get all this on one screen. Let's alphabetize by team. I'm going to pause the video for just a, a few moments. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. No deals were done on a Saturday here, Saturday the 3rd, but it's all good. Thanks, everyone, for making us part of your Saturday. It's a two-screen day, I think. One screen for Jaspies, one screen for college basketball, and maybe a little baseball. I'll have to work in a little baseball later tonight. All right, so you remember Sean marked these RT, random teams, so we know that they're from the same, all from the same case. We have a couple more breaks from the same case, and then the break after that will be from a fresh case. So I think breaks 10, this is 10. I think 11 and 12 are the remaining two box breaks from that case, and then break 13 would be from a fresh case, if you're keeping track of that kind of stuff. All right, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. We got Houston Baylor on in the background right now. Kind of forgot about NBA action, ladies and gentlemen, but we're still in the we're still right in a very busy period of the sports calendar. I think uh, I think once March Madness is over, I'll probably probably start paying attention to going back to NBA again, and then a lot of baseball to pay attention to. The Masters is coming up next week, which will be great because I think there'll be the the championship game, then the Masters the following weekend. Wow, it'll be a lot of fun. Sure, I'll have some, for entertainment purposes only, I'll have some master's picks. If you go to the break schedule, folks, which is pinned in the chat, that'll tell you uh, the break schedule, filler information, and if you click the Joe's Picks tabs, for entertainment purposes only, I'll, I'll have some picks for you. All right, now for the random teams, veteran commons don't ship, but obviously Cody Zeller's silver will ship. That's a parallel. And obviously all rookies are going to ship. Inserts will ship. But sorry, TJ Warren, Dwayne Bacon, Jeremy Lamb, Julius Randle will not ship. The only uh, vet commons that will ship are LeBron, Giannis, Zion, Luka, and Ja. And there's an autograph behind Alfred Payton. Here's the uh, Weissman for Daniel Ree. There you go, Dan. And there's Cassius Winston, Red Wave for John and the Wizards. Do I think Tiger comes back? I hope so, but I mean, I've we don't know any more information since after his surgery, like he's got pins in the, but the severity of the injuries. We know like the surgery, but there's Alfred Payton for the Knicks. 
I don't know. I hope so. We'll have to have more information on him, though, I think. Nice Cole Anthony. Rookie signatures for Orlando. James with the magic. I'm no doctor, but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing he's not coming back this year. I mean, it, it may be a couple of years before he, before he comes back. Nice John Morant hyper. Second year John Morant. Reese with the Grizz. You gotta think that it takes at least a year for him to just recover. Right? How long did it take Alex Smith to recover from his horrific injury and infections and all that? And then he's got to get back on the golf course and, and swing a club. I don't know. It might, it might be a while. But who was a... There was an old golfer... Someone may remember this, old school guys out there. Who was the golfer that got, that got, he was like, like a bus almost ran into him. He was like push, pushing his wife out of the way. He got crushed by a bus or hit by a car ages ago. No one thought he would come back. There's Nick Richards. And then he came back a year or so later in like one majors. I think this was back in the 50s or 60s. And, John Collins, Red Wave. I'll bet the boss man knows. He's, he's not out on the floor. Someone in the chat might know. There's Emmanuel Quickly. He's playing some good basketball this year. So are the Knicks in general. There's Josh Richardson to 199. Quickly goes to Seth. Was it Ben Hogan? Yeah, it was a big name. Yeah, Ben Hogan. Look up the Ben Hogan story. And he was on the... I mean, I don't think he had the, the same injury history that Tiger has had. Because Tiger's been struggling with that for a while. Ben Hogan, Nick's saying too. Um, it's Joe Harris for the uh, Nets. That'll be for Michael. But yeah, I don't think he had the same back injury history that Tiger has currently... But he, he was involved in a pretty crazy uh, pretty crazy accident, and he was able to come back, and I think won some majors after that. And people thought that he was never gonna that he was never gonna play again. So Tiger's a pretty you know he's a pretty competitive dude. Giannis going to the Bucks, Marlin, and Isaiah Stewart for the Pistons, Reese. I don't think he wants I don't think Tiger wants to go out like this. My, my, you know, again, this is all speculation without knowing additional details about his, his surgery and his recovery, so this is all very speculative, but my guess is that I, I don't know if he'll win another major again, but you got to think he wants to put in, he wants to play a few tournaments, maybe a few more majors, you know, before he hangs it up. There's Daniel Toro Silver. Not Lamelo, Kevin Porter Jr. playing some good hoops. That's still Cavs edition going to going to Marlin. All right, next box. Another two box break is already up. We could run this back numerous times tonight. There's two more breaks from the same case, and then uh, and then after that will be fresh case. Jens, I just dropped the link in the chat. The LeBron James went for over one hundred and ninety-one thousand dollars. There's a link to the actual auction there as well. Pretty amazing. Pulled that last November. Got it on auction this spring. 
Kind of was sitting at under 100 for a while. And went there. That's right, yeah, you did predict 250. I wonder if, if LeBron James was healthy. I mean, it's, I don't want, you know, we can play this what if game to the, uh, to the end of days, but you, one wonders if LeBron was 100% healthy and was having like an MVP caliber couple weeks or so, you know, I wonder if that would have pushed it a little bit higher, maybe to 225 or something like that. But I mean, I'm splitting hairs at this point. It sold at a very nice price. I think when we first pulled it, everyone was thinking 100 maybe 150 so I think uh, I think our early predictions sometimes they're not always right but this time it looks like our early predictions yeah Birch isn't complaining that's his card um, but I think uh, I think our early predictions when we first pulled that card were actually kind of on the on, on, on the spot there's a 299 Kevin Knox uh, I'm not sure uh, Steve Birch did they let you I'm assuming they can they, they let you set a reserve all right, there's an Obi Toppin for the Knicks for Seth. And there's an Emmanuel Quickly right there for the Knicks as well. Knicks having a great season. It would be hashtag good for the hobby if they end up in the playoffs and do well. There's Kobe White. And there is a hyper... Oh, I thought that was Patrick Williams. Never mind. Patrick Beverly. Precious for the Heat. Reese. There's, so these Prism, these are the retro designs for Prism, right? There's James Harden. I think the Silvers especially will do pretty well, depending on the player. I don't know how James Harden does, but I know that like a Giannis Prism, like retro Prism design, Silver, I think some people are asking for over $1,000. There's Jordan and Wara, Rookie Silver. And we got an Onyeku Okongu to two ninety nine. There you go. Trivia. Some of you may not remember, but uh, this goes to Seth and the Hawks. He played with the Ball Brothers in Chino Hills, California. Right here, about an hour or so east of Jaspies. There's not Lamelo, and then he went to USC. There's Vince Carter. There's Nerlens Noel to one twenty five, and a LeBron James retro. Right here for Zach and my Lakers. Get well soon, LeBron. A little high ankle sprain. Just needs a little bit of rest. There's New Orleans Noel for OKC for Billy. There's Isaiah Stewart for Detroit. Blake Griffin Silver. There's not LaMelo, Cole Anthony. And there's the autograph right there. Nico Mannion, Red Wave. And this LeBron card right here, I think, goes for at least a couple hundred bucks. 100, 200 bucks. The silver version of these go for a lot, too. Lakers, Zach, there you go. Nico Mannion, Red Wave. Red Waves are not numbered. Red Shimmer, I think they call it. Gold, uh, Golden State Warriors, Daniel. Cole Anthony for Orlando, James, and Isaiah Stewart, Detroit, Reese. Jackson Hayes, Silver, Tyrese Maxey, Hyper. Yeah, that's right. Lonzo Ball's mom, Lonzo Lamelo's mom was the guidance counselor until she had a stroke, which is kind of a crazy story. But for the most part, she's uh, she's doing well now. Lonnie Walker, silver, and Marcus Smart. All right, what are our autographs? First autograph behind Purple Ice, Furkan Korkmaz, the sharpshooter for the Sixers, going to Hyun Min, is is Josh Green for the Dallas Mavericks. That's going to go to Brian Watford, the rookie auto for the Mavs. 
Min with the out of 175, Furkan Korkmaz. And behind Luke Kennard Blue is Daniel Gafford. Signatures for the Bulls. Billy with the Bulls. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And there's Luke Kennard right here to 199. There you have it. That was two box ran team 10 of 2020 Panini Prison Basketball here on Saturday the 3rd of April 2021. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.